It's your boy DJ and I'm saying now Shirex Bathman. We're talking about Chief Sosa. Now he tweeted out, he said, listen man, Glow Gang finna be under new management for the better. Now um Fredo Santana chimed in and he said, ah, about time you listening to someone else or something else. Now, if you're wondering, what does this mean for fucking Chief Keith? What do we have to expect? I'm here to tell you, fucking nothing. Now, listen here, man, because if you guys don't understand the job of a manager, a job of a manager is to really try to take advantage of all these business opportunities and get your business in order. And right now, at least in my estimation, Chief Keith has been kind of been the antithesis to what business would be. Now, Chief Keefe has kind of made it kind of tough for him to tour the entire United States. Remember, he's going to blow New Jersey up. Can't really go back to New Jersey. Had some problems even in fucking New York. So, Chief Keefe, at least touring-wise, he's not doing that much. So, a manager who would normally take these bookings, right? It's not much to do. Not only that, Chief Keefe, if you haven't known, Chief Keefe is a enlisted national fugitive. He was put on a national fugitives list after he failed to show up repeatedly to court in Chicago. His lawyer gave a weak ass excuse saying he fears for his life and there's ops trying to kill him so he's not coming back to Illinois. And because of that, they put him on national fugitives list. So, here's my thing. I don't think it's a fucking manager's issue. I think Chief Keefe along with his team, they gotta come together, they gotta put together a plan on how to really manage his fucking niche lane. Now, somebody asked me recently, they were like, yo, do you think Chief Keefe could ever come back mainstream? And I said, no. The reason why is I don't think Chief Keefe even wants to. He's enjoying where he's at now. He's going to continuously get booked, even though it might not be frequent. Because believe me, listen, the Migos, right? The Migos are getting booked three shows at least every week. Chief Keefe probably is lucky if he gets one or two, right? In a month, he's probably lucky if he gets like 10 dates. So, it's completely different from the fucking Migos. However, Chief Keefe, I think he's trimmed the fat. He's not fucking supporting a bunch of 20 other niggas. Remember, one of the fucking savages robbed his baby clothes after he was ejected from his crib? His baby clothes, baby diaper, what's his name again? The diaper bandit. So, Chief Keefe probably has a lower overhead. Other than paying child support, he's probably good. However, the thing is, Chief Keefe would like to at least get his music either back on a national level, even though I say he won't, or at least try to keep his buzz afloat. Which, let me tell you this, man. No matter how you see these musicians, and we already seen Interscope parted ways with Chief Keefe, will another label take a chance with Chief Keefe? Probably not. Should he want to take another chance with a major label? Absolutely not. I think he has a good catalog now. He got to start working his independent grind, which means, and I'm hoping this is the reason why he fired his manager, that he has to be proactive. They got to start printing up all type of press. They have to start getting out there and they got to get ahead of things rather than being reactive. When you're independent, you got to be proactive. You got to send out shit to DJs. You got to send out press releases. You got to let people know blog sites and whatever when your projects are coming out. You got to stick to deadlines. You got to book all these um, f- fucking um, uh, tour dates. You got to b- book all these uh, studio sessions that you can record. You got to set up shit with producers. You got to make sure people are getting paid. And if that person that was previously his manager, Uncle Ro or whoever that is, if they weren't doing the job, and previously we've seen Chief Keefe separated like a year ago, if they weren't doing a good job, he has to find someone else that can, right? So hopefully this is in the best interest for Chief Keefe, but you never know. Chief Keefe, number one, has to learn how to control himself and also has to start thinking like a fucking businessman. That's number one. But yeah, we'll see. So, you guys in the comment box, do you think this will make a difference with Chief Keefe? Do you think he'll ever get back mainstream? Do you think he should ever sign back again? Or do you think right now where he's at now, he'll continue and you think he'll continue here? Or do you think at some point his buzz will just die down? Get in the comment box. Make sure you guys like, definitely subscribe, man. It's your boy DJ Academics. I'm out.